right, and with that, we are we are live on. Well, it's a new year. That's fun. You guys are unmuted. You can definitely talk. Hmm. I think it's funnier if we stay silent, though. Oh God, yeah. Let yeah, me just talk. Just talk to yourself the rest of the stream. Oh, it's a God. new year for Scooty to learn that we're actually all figments of his imagination. <laughs> oh, so that's the way you guys disappear when I when I take my medication. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> Imagine getting medicated. <laughs> Imagine getting medicated. <laughs> yeah, the medication is called whiskey. <laughs> Sound like my dad. You just got dad. I, I mean, you know, I, I do get, I, I do apparently have that aesthetic, supposedly. It's because you do. Well, do you wear socks and sandals? Because if you don't, then you can't have the dad aesthetic. See, I don't. I don't do that. Vivi, make sure he wears socks and sandals. He has to live How? up to the dad aesthetic. How am I supposed to bring that into existence? I don't know. You live with him. Hide all of his shoes. Also, my my favorite. Uh, haven't seen a stream since last year. I know I haven't streamed since last year. Oh my goodness! I am it's going the... to commit a crime. Also, I haven't seen a movie since last year. It's Goody. crazy. Yes. Please. <laughs> It's look at in one look, day. Look, at least I didn't ping everyone and say, you know, I'll see you next year. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's kind of like um when you would go on like Christmas vacation for school and they'd be like, "Here's your Christmas surprise. You have no more homework for the rest of the year." It's like you motherfuckers. Hmm. Uh, but I digress. Um, what did we do last year? Um, decisions. Bad decisions <laughs> all around on Seth's part. <laughs> the so, answer uh, is nothing good. Uh, we ran into Ava. And well, then... Remember, we, uh, we visited Axel at his preppy private school shit that his father apparently is the headmaster of. I, I think it's funny. You say it's the private school. It's literally, you guys basically did Zoom school at that place. Like, that's just the Pokemon the Academy. Academy. <laughs> yeah. Academy Academy. It's literally just public school. <laughs> public school? Nah, he had a learned... uniform on. It was definitely a private school. Listen, <laughs> listen, Seth. We weren't rich enough to attend... <laughs> classes or have a I uniform. I barely had a computer. <laughs> but yeah, we I, bothered I had Axel to, a bunch. I had look, to submit my homework via Pidgey. Look, <laughs> there was a big poker rust outbreak, okay? Not everyone was able to go to the academy. Limited dorms. <laughs> Bruh. Damn, he just coronavirus us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it started with Zubat. Somebody just ate one and. <coughs> Feels uh, bad, man. God damn it. Feels bad. Anyways. Anyway, yeah, after fathering Axel, we uh, we went to. I heard look fathering at this... Axel, and <laughs> I was very confused. I'm never gonna finish this next sentence. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna happen. We're gonna be here for another two hours as I try to recall what happened and everyone keeps it her. <laughs> Alright, as Eleanor played peekaboo with uh, Axel. <laughs> then we went because Professor What's His Nuts said, like, hey, spooky, scary, abandoned lab, go get my shit. You'll know it when you see it. And then Ava was down there. Presumably with the you'll know it when you see it item, but Seth didn't think that, so he was just gonna let her waltz the fuck out of there, cause... I don't know. Uh, He's a pushover for... He wants friends, and... Bruh, you don't want- Axel out, maybe Ava will work out. <laughs> well, that's because Axel... is a fuckhead. 
<laughs> he doesn't have a choice. We've we've thrown our friendship on him. Ava, on the other hand, no redeeming qualities. So yeah, then uh, Seth got called a fucking idiot, and you're welcome. They they stole the disc back from Ava, and she got the fuck out of there. And yeah. I that think is, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that that is that is very true. <clears throat> you guys went back to uh, Lockport, and we gave uh, Trevor his Matang back. That is true. You did. And then we what? kind of and pickle um, brick. No, 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 no. I still have the chat out. I decided not to give it over, even though we had addressed it with um. Oh no! I've started with Nurse again. Joy. Um, because it's shadowfied and um, Pickle Brick isn't ready for that. <laughs> no, not and, at all. And the Splink decided it wanted to stay with Seth. That's another oh. thing that happened. Oh yeah, that's true. You got a you got a free Pokemon. His name is Truffles. I don't even know if he's a he. I didn't check that. I just named him and I got the fuck out of here. Nice. All right, yeah, on, I have uh, to run downstairs real quick. No, okay. That's yelling at me. That's fair. All right, yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys went back to Lockport, and we left off basically as soon as you entered the, the city limits, pretty much. Uh, definitely, once again, Seth is pretty banged up, as he always is. I don't remember how Eleanor got... Oh, well, I guess I guess the, the Pokemon were just beating on you two, right? I think that's what yeah, happened. Yeah, I think uh, Kadabra gave us a few hits. I was prepared to like show up to this and be like, I don't remember anything that was a month ago. It's like, no, actually, uh, we're good. I've been trying to middle mouse scroll the map this entire time. <laughs> nice. Uh, Oh, right, yeah, because you've been playing a, a bunch of uh, Dwarf Fortress and stuff, yeah. Dwarf Fort. Yep. Are you the kind of Dwarf Fortress player to make a puppy fountain? <laughs> I'm what sorry, what? Mean? Somebody on Twitter went viral for, uh, in their fortress, they had, like, you know, a top four a room of female dogs. And occasionally they oh. give birth with the oh, floor no. missing in the center of the room, so they would get pushed down and just fall to their deaths, and it would desensitize all the dwarves from death. <laughs> <laughs> so mean, it was a puppy fountain. What? I mean, yes, I would be that type of person. I'm the person that puts a like baby dwarves into a danger room so they come out as master dodgers. <laughs> So yeah, I I would I've never I, done that. I've only I done. I understand the... so little about Dwarf Fortress, <laughs> but that the phrase "pumpy fountain" just stuck in my brain, and it will forever be there. Puppy fountain. Yep. Mm, talking about Dwarf Fortress. So of course we are. <laughs> I was talking about it yesterday, actually, with my cousin. We were talking about the the cats. Oh and he yeah. Goes, Wait, he figured out how to set the army to um to kill the cats. I was like. I don't know. I was like, wait, did he mark him to be butchered? I'm like, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. <sighs> well, you All guys right. have been here fortressing your dwarves. I just figured out how to fish after 300 hours in Project Zomboid. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> Vivi and I will probably be joining y'all once uh, Snow gets that, that server up and it running. should be up later tonight, he said. Yeah. I also need to see if I got that kickback. Anyways. PTU. Because Spira's got to go to work. So. Me. Pokemon. Oh, so, uh, I assume... Um, I assume the first thing y'all are going to do is go heal up. Hospital. Unless, yeah, hospital. Please. Sure. I mean, game is unpaused. Unless you want me to just teleport y'all there I it mean it might be better for me because I'm on a trackpad tonight oh god use the arrow keys so I'm doing just how quickly can I press up why don't you just hold it 
That is a possibility I was unaware of. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, obviously, I'm probably, as far as I'm aware, I shouldn't need to transition to the to the Pokemon Center thing. So y'all can just sit out there and heal. Yeah. Sit outside. We're full. I'm, this poor woman. We walked in a couple hours ago, you know, <laughs> beating the fuck up. We're like, yo, bye. After we said, yeah, we exploded. And now we're here again, bloody. Yeah, she just kind of like, she was originally had her back turned and she just turns around. And, you know, she, all Nurse Joys have this like really sweet, innocent, very helpful, like face, uh, always just plastered. And she just kind of like raises her eyebrows and she just goes, do I even want to know? No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we, how long are we staying so I know how many injuries to heal? Uh, I mean, uh, stay as long as you want if you wanna. If you wanna not have any band aids. But uh, in, the, in the meantime, what is everyone kind of doing while they're sitting around, chilling at the, the Pokemon Center? Took um, that CD, right? Yeah. Uh, I think Spira ended up with it. Yes, I didn't log it in my items, but I know that I have it. Is it a custom item, by chance? No, it's it's just uh, it's. I see. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do we have anything that we could plug it into to see more upon the CD? Uh, Seth does have a laptop, but it's a Penumbra laptop, which I believe. I want to Is say it old a... enough to have a CD drive? <clears throat> she, you right. Penumbra is smart enough. They use they use MacBook Airs. <sighs> they use uh, Pokemax. <laughs> the the logo is just an Applin. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if it ain't a floppy disk, it's useless. <laughs> True. I could <clears throat> just have one of my myriad for flying Pokemon just deliver the disc to the professor. That is yeah, true. but also, he said, we'll know what we want when we see it. <coughs> uh, we still don't even know if this is what he wants. Well, you have multiple ways of contacting him. Unless Eleanor is gonna remain suspicious. Oh, Eleanor will remain suspicious. Even when he proves himself to not be <laughs> suspicious. But, um... Let's call him. Let's do that FaceTime-y thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip up the professor <clears throat> on speed dial right quick. <clears throat> Alright, so you uh, give, him a, give him a call. Uh, it takes several rings for him to pick up and you know he kind of like looks up from the paperwork that he was doing uh, you see that you know that weird assistant is still in the background running around as always you see that now his son Kern is a son Flora yeah. uh, and there seems to be two more assistants running around as well and he kind of looks up and he goes Oh, you three. Hello there. Hello, Professor. Damn, this man is not General concerned Kenobi. by us at all. You know, <laughs> Tet sends us to this abandoned laboratory and isn't even concerned with answering our phone call. Well, to be fair, like, he asked you, like, probably, like, a, a month ago, and he technically said that there was no rush, so... Fair enough. You for for all he knows, you could be calling for for any reason. True, true. That's very true. 
Oh, and and uh, I should also mention in the background, you see his his mighty Yenna is like rolling around with basically the equivalent of a, uh, a squishmallow. Yes. Oh no, um, that poor thing. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, "Oh, it's you three. Eleanor's gonna, you know, mention that we're now in Lockport." And, um, we did the thing. And he kind of, like, raises an eyebrow and he goes, Oh, you, oh, you finally, finally, uh, went to my old lab. <laughs> I assume it's a complete wreck, huh? Well, that's one way to put it. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you find, um, find a disc in there? chance um, possibly I mean uh, <laughs> a little bit of a yes or no I would I would feel I oh, mean what, what we took means. it off Ava so I don't even know if this is the original disc and she and uh, she uh, he kind of like sits sits back a little bit and he goes Oh, mm. I didn't really expect anyone else to to really to really be there. I mean, the disc isn't really important to anybody but me. Uh, huh. Uh, boy. Important enough to send us to fetch it without telling us what it is. I I mean, it's not really. Is it your business? Yes. But it's not like that big of... Look, okay. And he kind of like takes a deep breath and he sighs and he goes... Look. When I left Penumbra, when I stepped down... Obviously, that used to be kind of, you know, my little side lab um, that I that that I did all of my stuff at. I didn't always like being a, being in the office. I'm not much of an office person, and I may have, um, you know, trashed it a little a little bit, um, kind of because. I didn't exactly step down because I wanted to do so. If you get what I'm, if I'm, if you get what I'm talking about. You got foreclosed on and filled the toilets with cement. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, are you sure that this is a conversation you want to be having with us while we're not with you? He just kind of like crosses his arms and he goes, I mean, look, you guys, you guys are in Lockport. I know that you're, you still have the gym and like a gym to do. Look, if you want to fly over here and talk to me in person, you can. How do you know we haven't done the gym? You realize that there's a, a database that everybody has to, to check on that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, they, they check in your trainer ID, check the badge cases. It's it's a... there's a system. What if it takes a while to update? It doesn't. Uh, trust me, it doesn't. <laughs> I'll just stay quiet then. <laughs> Look, all, all I'm saying, the reason why I want the disc is it's security cam footage. Unedited security camera footage. And you didn't take that with you because... You think I expected to be, you know, to, to have... S- have uh, the person that 
took over my spot to hold it over my head later later on. We should have taken all the copper out of the walls. That's where the money's <laughs> Right. Uh oh Seth is a uh, Seth is a tweaker confirmed. God. <laughs> it's those berries. Been what do you in the think head so them? many times? <laughs> what do you think's in those berries? Why not berries? <laughs> oh, give me that sweet berry juice. <laughs> That's not juice. <laughs> God, I haven't even started drinking yet, and this is already pure chaos. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, boy. New Year, same chaotic group of players. I mean, it had, yep, two years of pure chaos. God, it's been right. that long. Yeah, because the... Because the D&D campaign lasted a little less than a year. And then this campaign was a year in February. Technically, it, it we had one session in December, but yeah. Because it was like a test session or whatever, I, f I forget. <clears throat> anyway, copper. <laughs> Anyways, anyway. not copper. So what was the purpose of destroying the lab? <sighs> because I started to realize that the research that I was doing into Pokemon bonds and Pokemon friendship, well, obviously, what do you think the inverse of that is? I mean, obviously enemies. Yeah, and look, I I knew that the I knew Professor Ardos was from the Ore region. I knew that. I didn't expect him to be uh, not from the Research Foundation, which. To be honest, I only recently really put two and two together on, on all of that. I mean, everything seemed... <clears throat> everything seemed fine. Uh, obviously, I did keep a lot of contacts at, you know, the Penumbra Foundation. <sighs> and nothing ever really seemed to be much of an issue. But, you know, ever since... You found the, that Shadow Torchic and all of these events were set into motion. Yeah, I... Is, is it really my fault? No, but I certainly do blame myself a little bit. Uh, this is out of character. Uh, did we tell him about Ardos with the Giratina in the boat? I don't remember if I did or not. No, you kept that a secret. Okay. At least as far as I'm aware, or that I remember. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't know about the Celebi, right? Mm, right, you also kept- you definitely kept that a secret. Yeah. All right. I mean, we we shouldn't continue to have this conversation uh, in a public Pokemon Center. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's probably for the best. Um. Look. Just. Just. Just don't worry about it. Just do. You know. Get the. You can either deliver that in in person or have it delivered. Um safely if if possible and Come uh via us i mean if you if you think that's the best then then so be it 
I mean, I don't trust anybody. The fact yeah. that Ava already wanted it. And the fact that Penumbra has a presence here in Lockport. They do tend to have eyes and ears everywhere. Pretty intertwined with, with the region. That was definitely part of my doing. Anyways, I digress. Um, thank you, and uh, I wish you the, the best of luck in your, your gym battle when you get to it. Thank you, Professor. Of course. <clears throat> and he ends the ends the call. <laughs> All right. So, what is that that uh, Eleanor insight doing currently? Eleanor's just confused as fuck as to his reasoning and everything. Obviously, she wants to ask him a bunch of questions, you know, why, what is Ardos doing and shit like that and all that fun stuff. But uh, also, she recognizes the fact that we're in Penumbra territory on potentially Penumbra machines. And, uh, you know, he perhaps shouldn't be talking to us so willingly in a public place about said things. Right. It could literally just be as simple as, like, he just forgot it in the disc player. <laughs> like, that's that's where my, my brain immediately went. It's like, oh, you need to fucking get in here and smash everything to pieces to keep them from doing some shady shit with your private laboratory. You know, because you've been excised, like, it's really easy to just forget something like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not even, like, hung up on the fact about the... the disc. It's just... what is he doing? And why are we... not necessarily kept in the dark about it, but we're pretty much in the dark about this. Even though he's doing what he needs to do through us without telling us what exactly we're doing. Mm -hmm. No, it's a mirror address. So, for what it's worth. <clears throat> Anyway, Anyways. we still have Lock Court's gym to do. That oh, that's true. right. I forgot the gym is in Lockport. I'm like, where the hell do we have to go to get the gym? <laughs> Down the street. That's where we gotta go. Yep. What typing is the gym again? Fighting psychic. Ugh. <laughs> why? Why? Why that sound? I've been playing Pokemon recently, and they talk. <laughs> Psychic fighting is a nasty combo. Yeah. But is it going to be as nasty as, as Ghost Dark? No. That's no. definitely the worst combo to go up against. I will admit, it's not as nasty as it was originally going to be. Thankfully, I reread the rules for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> What does that even mean? Oh, I'll 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 explain it. It it has it just has to do with um, um fighting uh fighting ace and how how their um stuff triggers. Uh. Oh, but uh, that ended up not obviously being being the case because of surprisingly the wording is actually done correctly to to keep that kind of stuff from happening. Guess we're gonna have some uh, Pokemon to move around out of the box and such. There we go. All right. Uh, so you enter into the gym, and for the most part, it looks 
a lot more like it's just a fighting like a like a proper dojo and all that there doesn't really seem to be all that much to to indicate you know it being a pokemon gem uh but kind of in the middle of the the sparring arena uh, there is a man who's kind of, he's sitting on the ground, cross-legged. He's got a blindfold over his eyes. And he is just eating. He's got like a little, like, folding table that's low to the, low to the ground. With just a whole bunch of food laid out on it. Oh boy, we interrupted lunch. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> you guys are the ones that walked in. No. Oh. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, this bear is going to look her around and uh, uh, see if she spots the, uh, you know, like the coordinator or whatever. Oh, yeah. Where's oh. our free water bottle? Oh, shit. You're right. Um, he doesn't appear to be around. Damn, yeah. Scooty's saying no water. <laughs> he doesn't want us to hydrate, guys. <laughs> hydrate before you dehydrate. <laughs> I'm not trying to spin, by the way. The trackpad prioritizes Seth spinning <laughs> over zooming in and out on the map. <laughs> I love that. Uh, that's <coughs> really I love wonderful. That so, so now Glorious. Seth's just going to be at an angle because it's impossible to ride him back out. Whenever. Look, he's just trying to straighten his spine a little bit. So he's, you know, what he's about Seth a little... is straight to you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. True. You do wear jorts. Do not call jorts a gay thing. That is like a mostly <laughs> stereotypical redneck heterosexual man thing. My brother and in, in my my brother, I've I mm, I don't see anybody wearing jorts at all, so <laughs> I'm not too sure how that my is. My father, I've... checkmate. Uh, okay, I will say I will say this: Jorts are definitely a father thing. <laughs> Step up. I don't wear them, thankfully. Well, I guess you better start now. Brian David no, Gilbert has an entire episode on how to make your own jorts. <laughs> you just take a pair of scissors. <laughs> well, they have to be like able to cut their denim. Uh, EMS scissors, scissors or do that real good. Well, you know what else uh, does real good is talking to this to this gentleman. That is I have true. attempted. I said howdy. He has not responded. <laughs> he kind of uh, sure. So he kind of like looks up. Uh, he's still like fork is just hovering right in front of his mouth, and he goes, ah. Welcome to the Lockport Gym. Are you you three must be must be trainers? Yep. I assume you're fully expecting um a gym challenge, right? Yep. Now the question is, is there a gym challenge here, or is there not a gym challenge here? Why don't you sit down and, and join me for lunch? <laughs> going to uneasily approach. <laughs> Come on. It's just lunch. Spira is scratching her head trying to remember if a gym challenge is actually part of the <laughs> is actually part of the league like rules or not. 
Listen, Beach. last time someone was friendly to us, we got knockout powdered. So, uh, <laughs> pardon our hesitancy. Oh, you've been to that gym. Right. <laughs> well, uh, don't worry. There's no gym challenge. It's just lunch. It's just some food. It's what not kind like... Of food, Karate kid, try to get the food off your plate and you do the chopstick thing to keep us from touching it. I'm blindfolded. What do you expect me to be able to do? He's also using a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, despite being blindfolded, you could tell three of us were here, even though I'm the only one that talked. Mm, three sets of footsteps. Unless you're wearing, you know, extra shoes. I'm barely wearing a single pair of shoes. Well, maybe I walk on my hands and my feet. <laughs> maybe we did cartwheels to get in here. <laughs> okay, well Zero now over here is a bird Pokemon. She just flies. <laughs> I've heard... I. <laughs> well, see, now I've heard three distinct voices. So... Are you sure about that? Because I think maybe I'm just really good at making up voices. Yeah, it's like a whole ventriloquism routine. You really gotta see it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and he just like, he just kind of like puts his fork down and he just takes his blindfold off and he goes, Look, I'm just trying to eat. Do you want the food or not? <laughs> well, what kind of food is it? That's what I asked. And he just kind of like, you know, uh, waves his hand in front of this whole, it's almost like a five course meal. And I will let you decide what food is on the table. I would like to cast detect magic. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are free to, to make jokes about it being all fast food if you want. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's all fight. illusory. It's I was gonna say it's a fighting dojo, so it's just every it's just like ten bowls full of spinach. It's just this no, man it, is just eating pre-workout by the fork. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know he's he's just dry scooping it. I mean, come on. Ew. <coughs> Once we realize what it is, we got a backup because that's about to hit him like a truck. Oh, no. oh, shit. <laughs> I hope you know how to retessate. Re Resuscitate Retessate? somebody after. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Res well, I don't know. Do we have a diamond worth at least a hundred grand? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it! Sit down and eat the damn food. Okay, yes, sir. I, will, I will take a bowl of spinach <laughs> and a and a tin of uh tin of protein powder. <laughs> oh. Oh, as we look out here making us Popeye, like, <laughs> as we look over at this man's like keto smorgasbord, so it's mostly just like meat and shit. See, I, I just love that nobody was just like thinking he was like bulking out or something. So it's just a ton of like pasta and and burgers and shit. <laughs> Where's the whole jar of peanut butter? Oh God, <laughs> it's under the table. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Man, he he really gets this this peanut butter out of the out of the jar kind of strange. Why would you even go there? <laughs> That's Why? what I was saying. That Why was would you joke. even go there? We've said worse. <laughs> okay. That's Wait, fair. there's a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right next to the grapefruit. <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah! God damn it! You're welcome. Oh man, you know why is there why is there a, a, a sponge in this cup? Oh. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> so what does what does he do when we when we start eating? He just starts eating. Okay. Well, he just yeah, kind of goes. He goes. See, I just I'm just having lunch. That is all. People come here all the time expecting a gym challenge and they just 
psych themselves out. They worry about everything. They they think the floor is... They start playing a game of floor is lava trying to get over here. They stick their hands out expecting mirrors. Or... Was that the pun though? Psych themselves out? This is the psychic gym. And he kind of looks up, you know, he kind of looks at you and he goes, <laughs> I'm, I'm specialized in fighting Pokemon. So it, it's not my pun to do. It was still pretty funny though. <laughs> oh, right. Um, I believe I'm supposed to ask for your badge cases. Spira produces her badge case. Easy. <coughs> Here you go. And he kind of like opens them all up and he kind of gets this wild grin on his face and he goes, Ah, the final gem. <laughs> to think I stand bef I stand in your way. <laughs> You're sitting. Oh, got yeah. him! We're all sitting. I never and, and... that I was sitting down. Is Eleanor just bent over at the waist? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he goes, oh he goes, you're right. I am sitting, but I'm not sitting on the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> He's sitting on a bunch of tiny ants. <laughs> I'm just not going to say the first thing that popped into my brain. Let's continue. <laughs> I, I, mm. I'm glad that me and Plant are on the same page. <laughs> my mom just off. Uh, my mom just opened the office door, asking me what I said because she thought I was talking to her. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh. Man, Seth, doesn't he just have the best balance? <laughs> He's he's like a he's like a hit on top, but you know, right side no. up. <laughs> no. <laughs> See. <laughs> See. 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 Like discharge. Like... <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna cut myself off of my. What's gonna say? Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> it was no, gonna be a cut or uncut joke, by the way. Oh God! God damn it! I'm only one shot deep. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. It'll only take another six before you're uh, tipsy. Yeah, I'm Please, completely I need sober, more and that. I'm like this. Can you imagine me on something? God. I'm a fun drunk. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get together and drink. Scooty Con. It's just. It's just at a local bar. Yep. I've only I hate like... the fact that you said ScootyCon because you know, you know <laughs> that Cherry and Bunny are going to run with it and it's going to become a thing. No, it's uh... going to be, uh, they, they call me Con. They call me Con. <laughs> they call me Con. God yeah, damn you it. call the convention, they call me Con, and then you just con everybody out of the ticket <laughs> money and don't actually host anything. <laughs> Look, look, it, the only thing that will be in the, in the, in the thing is a slip and slide and that's it. Whoops. It won't uh, even, it won't even be a ball pit. Ooh, slip and slide into mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to keep the mac and right cheese out the front door. But see, the thing is, if I do that, it's going to be that really cheap, like 99 cent mac and cheese. Listen. I'm here for a time, not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for a time. It's Maybe instead of Max and Cheese. Oh, God. God damn it. The fuck were we doing? <laughs> apparently, just apparently the gym challenge is just to, to make me laugh as much as possible. <laughs> the gym challenge is <laughs> shit posting the sky. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oh, oh goodness! Jim Challenge is getting Reddit gold. <laughs> getting Reddit gold. Uh, I don't Jim use Challenge. Reddit. I don't. 
Uh, gym challenge, make me go viral. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, he just kind of, obviously he kind of, he kind of like laughs at all the, the, the jokes and stuff <clears throat> and, you know, time passes and, you know, the food, obviously everyone eats and, and everything and he goes, well, I've had a very fun time. <clears throat> But, obviously, I believe it is time for us to be a little, a little less cordial and begin the Pokemon battle, don't you think? Wait, so you were serious? There's no gym challenge? Yes. I run a full dojo. I don't have time. And you think my sister's gonna do anything? No. Of course not. I mean, assuming that she's the psychic gym leader, I, I would think that she's in charge of the yoga sessions or something. I don't know. Uh, no, she would rather just stay in her room and collect uh, stuffed animals and all of that kind of stuff. Uh. I see. <clears throat> I mean, this is better than fetching a sandwich and the dude calling that the gym challenge. I mean, fair enough. At least we got to eat something. Hopefully you're not not too, too full. <clears throat> Why are you going to serve us a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to join us for the morning sessions, then I would certainly spar with you if you wanted. I've had too many concussions to say yes to that. <laughs> right. Uh, let me go fetch my, my sister. <clears throat> and he kind of, you know, s stands up and he walks out of the room. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, what do you three do for a couple of minutes? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Put you on the spot. Uh, Spira is going to just kind of uh, hold her her two Pokeballs, the one the Pokemon she's going to use. Just kind of kind of hold them and just kind of fidget with them. All right. Uh, what Pokemon did you choose? Me? Yes. Uh, Corviknight and, um, Aegislash. Fair enough. Uh, and Eleanor? Lucille and Maggie. Seth? Uh, Blackberry and Osage. Okay, fair enough. Oh god, the, the, all the immunities. All the ghosts! All the ghosts! All right, uh, so after a couple of minutes, um, the uh, two trainers re return. Uh, obviously, you do know their names, so you have Torin and Terry. And so Torin has, of course, put back on his, his blindfold, and Terry, on the other hand, she... They are, of course, they are twins, identical twins, and uh, she carries with her this, like, really, like, overstuffed, uh, like, quagsire plush, and, like, holding it in front of her. The boy. <laughs> the boy. Too bad it's not a clawed sire. Look, um... I know the perfect person if you want to see a real quagsire in person. <laughs> I have his phone number. And she, uh, you know, they both, they both kind of uh, bow. And with that, I think we can get this battle underway, don't you think? Yeah. 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 All right, send your Pokemon out.
Ron Zong. <laughs> Zong Zong. Zong Zong. Damn, Osage all the way out there. Yes, Seth has like a throwing distance of 10. 11. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. 